Hey there, so we're gonna do a products that are super similar. I do have affordable and higher end. Uh, we're gonna start off with eye primer. Also, now whispering this time. So, I actually discovered, uh, so Soft Ochre Mac Paint Pot. Okay, Soft Ochre is the color. And this, it's a creamy texture, dries down quick, so you have to work quick with it. It is $22 on Ulta. And then we have the Elf Putty Eye Primer. It doesn't have a shade name, but it's their lighter shade. This is, I have a nice little dip in there. Very rich. This is actually drier than the paint pot, but does exactly what the paint pot does. I actually did a side by side of them, but it looks like, I don't know if you can see this, it's coming away from the edges there. Looks like it's starting to dry up a little bit. No, still feels, never mind, still feels fine. Anyway, do a texture thing. This is the Elf. This is in their lighter shade. It's a little drier formula, but that's okay. But they're basically the same thing. This is the only difference is the e.l.f. is drier and the MAC Paint Pot is creamier, which I would hope so because it's 22 bucks. And the e.l.f. Putty Primer is actually on sale currently for, how much is it on sale for? Like $2 or $2.50? I think and you can get that on Ulta. Let's see here. Very rich. Now we can go to face primers. If you'd like me to do this for eyeshadows, I totally can. But I have three three face primers. We have the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance. We have the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I have the Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer. Now I can show you what they look like, that's fine. I have more than enough product in all these. Let's see if I can get this pump. Here says the Too Faced Do You. This is, now I'll remind you, this will melt into your skin and it does have a fright fruity scent. So if you're not too into fruity scents, I don't recommend this. Cause it's, it's pretty strong. And it takes about 10 minutes for it to go away. This is the Smashbox. I don't have a drugstore version though. The Smashbox one. This is their travel size I picked up. Yes. I think that I got that on sale too. I like sales. I got the Do You one at Marshalls. I think I paid 11 bucks. Yes, 11 bucks. This is the Becca. This I just got to get. Oh no, I lost the lid. Get that later. Dress these, and this is the Becca one. As you can see, there's a slight shade difference. These two almost look the same, but they really do give you like a little, little where'd that lid go? Give me one second, and we're back. My bad. Okay, I couldn't let that lid go, I'd probably forget. All right, get that off my hand. Hopefully, I'm talking louder. I don't know why I try to whisper. Maybe it's because my husband's in like the next room over. So I'm like, oh, whisper, be quiet. Try not to do that. So those are those. Uh, that's the travel size. I got that in a kit. But what kit did I get it in? I don't remember. Oh, it was a holiday set. Okay, so powders. I have two similar powders. I probably have more, but these are the ones I remember and think are the same. It's the It Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. Got this on sale too at Alta. I have a pretty good dip going in there, if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see. I don't know why they do this. I despise it, but they do it. And it's like a soft matte feel. And then that reminds me of the Essence All About Matte. And I actually have a backup and I'm almost done with this. I do, I will plan and empties because I do empty a lot of products out. I don't know. 
know, I'm gonna make, you know, make the doozies here. I swap everything out weekly, so everything gets used. Um, let's see here. Oh, more face primers. How did I skip these? They were sitting right in front of me. All right, so we have Tatcha Silk Canvas. Show you the consistency because they all look the same. I'm about done with this. This is the travel size. It's a uh, 22 at Sephora, or you can probably get it on their site. We have the Elf. I grabbed the wrong one. Hold on, I grabbed the luminous one. There we go. Okay, now I have the right one. The poreless, and the luminous one, and the matte one. They all look the same. I don't have matte because that just would be bad juju on this dry skin. I think. This is the poreless putty one gone to town on this. Took me forever to find this in stock. You can get this at Walmart, Ulta, probably the outside, probably other drugstores too, but I mainly just shop at Walmart, Ulta, Beautylish, Sephora's, sometimes Sephora. And we have Tarte Timeless Soothing Primer. I bought this because of Tati. There's this. This reminds me of the other two, only it's a little fluffier. Tart. If you can see that on my hand, if I point at it right. This is the elf. Not as thick, kind of thick, but not like thick, thick. That makes any sense. And this is the Tatcha, which is super soft. It's the softest one. This one's soft. Kind of feels like, um, like, uh, Kind of like um like a putty soft i guess this just feels like silky soft and then what was on the middle oh the elf the elf is like kind of like a stiff then soft that's the best description i got for those kind of be descriptive so we kind of know they smell don't smell what they feel like consistency um, i could probably do the same thing too with my foundations i have a variation between drugstore and found, um, high end, yes. Okay, here. Oh, last, the last round is setting sprays. I'm gonna start with the drug, no, high end, because I all have high end. Two different setting sprays. Well, there's five all together, but two of the same and three of do the same. There's the ABH Dewy Set. So pretty, it's not really glittery which is sad i guess not really sad because i mean i guess you know when your entire face will glitter but maybe i do and we have the mac fix prepper and prime which is this is in the coconut set i love coconut and vanilla scents they smell the same and they both do the same thing i think they're both right around the same price range i think i shop too much to remember <laughs> so we have the let me see here. Do the two. We have the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. Does the same thing as the Urban Decay All Nighter. Promise. And then this, a drugstore alternative that does what these do, is the Maybelline Lasting Fix. Does exactly what these do. And these don't have a scent. No, they just smell like normal makeup. I think this one smells. I think the. Yeah. Oh, wait. This has like a slight sweet scent, but the other two just smell like plain Jane. Um, that is it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I don't think I have any more products that are like close to the same, but you know, when you shop a lot, constantly got things coming, whether it's like one or two items, big haul, small haul, you know. Um, you can do it again. Uh, I did post a ranking video the other day, so if you'd like to see more ranking videos, let me know. I don't mind. We're all things makeup here. And then I will be filming a look on this eyeshadow and how I did it. I actually used this. The eye primer was the problem. It was too dry in my ABH primer, so time to swap them out. Okay, uh, toodles.